Hi, it's Zedlow. Welcome to another quick and dirty tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to set up an AWACS on your mission so you can have some AWACS goodness. First of all, a new plane group. Click it somewhere on the map. Now, uh, Blue Force AWACS is either the E2 Hawkeye or the E3 Sentry. This is the twin engine Navy prop job. This is a four engine uh, converted 707. So uh, let's go A3A. Its call sign is going to be Overlord 81. And uh, let's set a frequency. The default is 251.0. It's so vanilla and boring. Let's go 27 or 370.725. 370.725. All right, so we've got the aircraft on the map. Uh, DCS defaults it to a low altitude of 6,500 feet. Let's put that up at 35,000 and a cruise speed of Mach 0.75. All right. Now, what we want it to do is orbit, and this is what you're going to need to make it do that. You're going to need two waypoints on the map. All right. This is the first one. Let's add another one. And so it's going to do an orbit. I like to do the racetrack orbit. Okay, so it's going to go from here to here with a left turn, fly the reciprocal heading, another left turn back on the original. All right. You can set it to do just a circle. Um, I like to do the racetrack. It's just a preference of mine. How do you make it orbit? Okay, let's go back to waypoint zero, the start, advanced waypoint actions. All right, we're going to add an advanced waypoint action under the perform task. The action is orbit. Now, first of all, put a name here. It seems to be necessary for a lot of advanced waypoint actions. It's not really critical right now, but if there's any DCS changes, just put something here. All right, here's the pattern. We could do either a circle or a racetrack. We're going to do racetrack. Now, the thing about the advanced waypoint action here is look at this speed of 232 knots. Way too slow. 232 knots of ground speed, which this is. Uh, will your aircraft will stall, fall out of the sky. It's no good. How do we know uh, what kind of ground speed we need? Well, take a look over here. When we put in Mach 0.75, it calculated out a ground speed of 437 knots when the aircraft is up here. So let's just type 437 here. Done. Look at that. Now, uh, you're going to be orbiting here. How long are you going to orbit for? Well, you can set that here under the stop condition. You can do a time or a flag or a Lua predicate. Let's not worry about this. Let's say you want this AWACS to orbit for five hours. So the mission starts at 5.15 in the morning. Let's end at 10.15 in the morning. So it's going to orbit until then. All right. Now, what's it going to do after the orbit? Well, we should make it go land somewhere. So let's add another waypoint down to Sharjah and have it land there. All right, let's uh, let's test this out. We'll put a friendly F-18. That's going to be me. Change it to player. Put a waypoint in there, and let's go try to contact that AWACS and see what's up. Don't forget. It's going to be on frequency 370.725. So let's save this mission and fly it. All right, here we are in the mission. Let's uh, contact that AWACS. Now, here's 305.000. We know that our AWACS is not on that frequency. Overlord, 8-1, so in field, 1-1, one, one. We request it. bogey dope. Nothing's going to happen. Do you remember the frequency we set for it? 370.725. Let's put that in. Com 1, AWACS. Give me Overlord, some dope. 8 1, in field 1 1, request bogey dope. In field 1 1, there you Overlord, go. There's 8 the 1, answer. clean. So, let's have a look at this AWACS here. 
here's the start point here's the turn point let's speed up the time and uh, see if they go into their left hand orbit Oh, there's the left turn roll out on the reciprocal heading and then another left turn back to the original waypoint and so on and so on and so on so there you go that's how to set up a uh, AWACS orbit hope you liked it take care